Hey guys, I've been unbraiding my hair since I woke up this morning, honestly. The first thing I did was continue unbraiding my hair. I started last night, like 9.30 maybe, and I was literally unbraiding my hair till like 2 o'clock, maybe 1.30. I just couldn't do it anymore. So I went to sleep with like 10 braids left. Then I woke up to do them. I'm currently on the last four. I take so long taking out braids. My friend Eden, who does my hair, she can just fly through this. Anyways, I've had these braids in for three weeks. However, I did have braids in before this. I had braids in a few days before Christmas. It is now the 25th. So I've had braids in my hair for a month. And in between there, my, my hair was out for like one day. Basically, my hair needs to breathe. I didn't expect this to take so long. It's Tuesday. I have classes on Tuesdays. For those of you who don't know, I am still in college. I'm taking a lot less courses than I was taking last semester, but I am still in college. And I have classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11.30. It's 10.38. That's cute. This literally, it just takes so long. I didn't expect it to take this long, but now I know how long it takes. So next time, it's gonna be late. Like I wildly underestimated how long this would take, which tip, pro-life tip. I give pro-life tips in my videos, you guys don't know. But anyways, pro-life tip, know how long it takes to do things. It is the first step to getting your together. If you know how long it takes to do things, you won't be late. I'm literally whispering, sorry, I just have zero energy. I stayed up so late and I'm still unbraiding hair. My literally, my thumbs hurt from like just touching this hair. Like even if it was my hair, my thumbs would hurt because it's just like this constant friction on my thumbs. Like I can't imagine actually braiding hair. I feel like my thumbs would get rock hard. Anyways, I'm freaking tired of doing this. I could be asleep right now. Oh my gosh, like it literally is just taking forever like, bruh. On, it's 10 40. So I'm gonna be getting in the shower by 11 o'clock, having to go to class. You know what? I'm gonna have to rush today, man. <sighs> Here it is the last braid. It's 10 52, just like I thought. I'm probably gonna finish this around 11 o'clock. I'm gonna try to go fast, man. I literally have 30 minutes till class starts. This is so annoying and frustrating it's about to be in the shower in two class because i have zero time and you guys know when you take braids out you want to get a good wash and i have so much of this hair in my hair i can just tell oh my gosh this honestly took forever but like what could continue unless i finish taking my braids out nothing so be bad about it no just hurry up oh i haven't seen my own hair in so long come on man by the way i told her medium braids Okay, these freaking braids are out. Now the moment I've been waiting for to go wash my hair. I need to go literally right now because I already know I'm gonna wanna wash it good. I'm gonna be late. Okay, there's lots of gel in my hair. It literally feels like glue. She put way too much. I'm going in the shower, y'all. Let me show you guys what I'm using. Where's my brush? I will be using this Denman brush and probably a comb like this because I can literally feel, like I don't know if you can see all of this. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be in there doing. But there's probably lots of stuff in my hair. It's just completely dirty. Anyways, I'm about to get in the shower now, wash my hair. I'm gonna be using Olaplex. I would love to do a hair mask, but I literally won't have time. I will do one probably tonight. For now, I'm gonna just get a good wash. Okay, I'm out the shower. Honestly, like I thought, that was a long shower. It took a long time. It's been so long. I don't know how my hair is going to end up. And I'm really good at being able to tell. And I honestly have no clue. You just kind of have to wash it, do what you do to it, and let it air dry and just trust the process because you can't even worry too much. I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm bittersweet. I like the braids. They were really cute. And my hair gives me problems and I can already tell that's what it wants to do right now. And I don't feel like dealing with it, but I don't have a choice because I don't like, you know, looking unpresentable. Now I'm just going to go ahead and wash my face and stuff.
Okay, so my hair is washed, my face is washed, my teeth are brushed, and it's time to pick the outfit of the day. So my outfit of the day is actually from ThreadUp. One of the goals I had this year is to just be more sustainable, and I've been getting into thrifting and trying different looks, so thank you Thredda for sponsoring today's video and also helping me achieve this new look that I'm going for. Before we get into the box, let's talk about what Thredda is. Thredda is an online consignment and thrift store with women's and kids clothing. There are over 40,000 brands to choose from with up to 90% off retail. That's crazy. You can thrift from your own home. So let's see what I ordered. Okay, so you guys are about to see my outfit that I chose from ThreadUp. We have the beautiful polka dot packaging. Now let me put this outfit on and show you guys what I got. All right, guys, let's talk about this sweater. I am in love with it. It is very distressed and kind of gives like a very edgy look. When I first saw this sweater, I didn't know what to think, but when it came, I absolutely love how it fits. This sweater is called the Macaron Pullover Sweater. I got it in a size small, and I actually picked this up for $19.99. The original price for this sweater was like $46, and this was new with tags. So I got a discount on something that was completely new. So here's the sweater, I love it. I am pairing the sweater with these jeans that I also picked up from ThreadUp. They are black and there are tons of holes in them. You guys know how I like to wear my jeans. These are the Karmar jeans. I got these for $16.99 and the original price was listed as $216, which is crazy. So I'm in love with these jeans and let me show you guys what shoes I'm gonna pair with the whole outfit. All right, so I'm gonna pair my docks with this outfit just cause I think it's a super cute outfit. And I've had these for a long time and I barely wear them. So it's winter, the perfect season to wear your docks. So let's wear these with my cute little outfit. Oh, this is so cute. This is the outfit. I would say I am definitely out of my comfort zone a little bit. I don't really wear my docks very much, so I'm really liking this outfit. You guys, you can also get handbags and accessories from ThreadUp. So here is a handbag that I purchased. I thought it looked like a little suitcase, which was so cute. So there's tons of space in there too. This is an unbranded crossbody bag. It's one size. I picked this up for $18.99. The original listing was $60 and I snatched it up. I think it's cute. When trying something new, I don't like to spend a ton of money on a trendy style. I have done that in the past and like wasted so much money. That is one reason why I have loved thrifting and just giving clothes a second life in general is something that I think I might be a little good at. Not to toot my own horn, but this outfit is kind of fire and I thrift through the whole thing like I love the convenience of being able to shop and thrift from my own home and my own bed that up also has tons of brands to choose from with over 90% off of retail so I definitely encourage you guys to head over to thread up try out different styles there's so many styles to choose from I promise you guys there's something for everyone so check it out you can sustainably recreate my style by shopping at ThreadUp. I have a special code for my subscribers. All of you guys, just click the link in the description box below for 30% off your first order and free shipping by using the code L-E-X-I Lexi. There is so much for you guys to choose from. I know you'll find something that fits your style, so click the link down in the description box and use my code. Okay, so now that I'm dressed, let's get into my makeup. Honestly, I'm running late. I need to just say, forget the makeup, but forget the class. I gotta do my makeup. All right, so those of you who've been on my channel, you guys know I don't do that much makeup. However, I do wanna start getting into makeup, so I wanna know if you guys think I should do a makeup video, not a tutorial, because Lexi doesn't know how to do makeup for real. Just a video trying out a makeup look for the first time. I've never like tried to recreate a makeup look ever in my life. I'm not gonna do my makeup. Let's just do my makeup. We'll start with Mario Bades. Cute. Mario Badescu. So I'm spraying this on my face. Give me some moisture. And then we're gonna go in with Makeup Forever Ultra HD and the number 41. This is my winter color. I use the same color in both seasons though. I do get lighter in the winter, so I think this is a little too dark for me, but I changed colors, so. Honestly, I don't wear foundation or anything, so I kind of just put on concealer and then that's pretty much it. I have always had like dark circles and kind of like deep set eyes, so I've always felt like I needed concealer. Until recently, I kind of have been going in long time with just not putting any makeup on because I'm comfortable in my own skin which is a great thing but that doesn't mean I can't put makeup on just to you know feel pretty or just to do it but I've been working on that just being more comfortable in just who I am like I always have these eyes I've always had them from a baby so 
I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not gonna lie, I never leave the house in anything like really cute, like this outfit, especially not these shoes. I feel like I'm making the statement, which I'm really not. Like tons of people wear docks, but I don't. I wear Jordans. <laughs> we'll be using Fenty Beauty Pro Filter and the uh, color honey. I just do my eyebrows and then like, that's it. My eyelashes are done. Eyebrows are the most important part, so I have to focus and Try not to mess them up. I can never get it perfect, so I'm not even gonna try. Makeup is an art. If you're gonna do your makeup, you're talented, okay? Anyways, going with the Charlotte Tilbury perfume. I actually don't know that this has this that this has a name, but I don't like to use too much. I swear a little of this goes a long way. Kind of smells like old lady, but I kind of dig it. I kind of like the old lady smell. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much ready to go to school for the first time in person. And yeah, I'm kind of nervous, but we gotta go. Time to find my next class. All right, yeah, I literally gotta go. It's 12.46, so I'll see you guys. You're coming with me. Let's go. Man, I haven't packed a backpack in so long. I don't even need to bring a shoe. I got my computer, I got my keys. I got myself and I got my phone. I think that's it. Headphones, where my AirPods at? Okay, I need my headphones. You know what, it's one class today. I'll be fine without the headphones. I need to pay attention. All right, time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go. Gotta go, gotta go. All right, y'all. I'm out. Guys, I think Mustangs are literally the first, well, not the best first car, but the best second car. Oh, God. Lee just got a Mustang, and it is the prettiest red. It looks so good. Congratulations, Lee. Oh, my God. So proud. I think I love Mustangs. I really do. I need gas. Oh, well. I'm in the car. About to be on my way to class number two of the day. Didn't go to the first one, but that's not the point. The point is going to class. I don't need to get gas right now. I can get gas after class. All right, I'm about to drive to class. I don't have a, a tripod up for my camera at all. So if I leave it here, you're gonna go flying. So I will see you guys at school. Guys, my teacher canceled class. So now I'm at the dorms I used to live in last semester. Hi. All right, guys. So I am in Eden's room now. We are about to go to either the market or the calf. But the reason I'm not in class is because on my way here, my cousin called me because we have the same class together, and she said that our teacher canceled class, and he didn't even like notify us ahead of time he just wrote it on the, the board which i was already sense. here so it made no sense to go all the way back home so now i'm with eden we might go to the market or the calf but yeah so no class i also put my hair up and i have to pack down Hot dog and fries. Oh, they do? Oh my god, there's like one strawberry. Yes. Strawberry. Yes. Strawberry good. Strawberry good. I'm gonna try it. There's nothing to even look at. <laughs> Snickers. Mm. Snickers. Oh, it's so quiet in here. I'm gonna do like this. Thank you. Man, I'm gonna just drink aloe for, for, for lunch. <laughs> Bag, secure it, bro. We got the aloe, which is so, it's so good. I can't even lie, it's like the best drink in the world. So I'm really happy about that. And we got some hot dogs, so we about to eat that. But we not about to eat in the gap. I don't hear nothing. <laughs> I, oh God, as soon as you got them out the whole night, you could ask Maya, the whole night I was talking to you, could not hear me. I was like, oh, she can't hear me. I, I did it so many times. And me and mine were just laughing. She could not hear me. That was my birthday gift to Eden because she always has her headphones in. I don't mind my wires. Yeah. <laughs> That's for you. You're napkin. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to try the peach one. I'm going to try the strawberry. Strawberry so good. Hello. Welcome to College Cuisine. The part of the show where I show you what I eat on college, at college. We have aloe vera king premium peach. Whoops. Well, whatever that is. Oh. 
peach. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it in a different language? <laughs> Mel, Mel, you didn't even try to pronounce. Then we have some tater tots. Looks like. <laughs> what? Let me have a tater tot. You can have some. They need to get their fries bag. Where, where are the fries, bro? Literally. Mm. On a fry shorty. Oh. <laughs> 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 mm. That's a bitch good. Bro. At 1.44. <laughs> Do you know? No. I randomly get memories of what grade was that? What grade was Miss Reynolds, our teacher, seventh? Yeah. I get random memories to seventh grade when she would bring Chick-fil-A hash browns and eat them in front of us. And she would put the ketchup <laughs> on the thing. I don't remember instead that. Instead of dipping it. I don't remember that. You don't you you remember her? I remember her, I don't remember those specific. But you don't know remember like when she would bring her Chick-fil-A? Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so I just got home. My dad and I ended up coming home at the exact same time. And the dogs have a groomer appointment at three o'clock. So I said it was cool if I take them and Carly is freaking out. He's cool right now. He'll be freaking out in like five seconds. Anyway, so let me take them. Obviously, like I said, I don't have a, a tripod in here. I need to always have a tripod in here. I'm home. Oh my gosh. It's good to be home. All right, I just dropped the dogs off and there's a lot of stuff I want to get done. I want to clean my room first before I get anything else done because I tricked you guys this morning. You might have thought, oh my gosh, her room is clean. No, 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 I lied. I need to clean my room. I'm gonna do that before anything. I'm gonna change out of these clothes, put on some more comfortable clothes and just get to work. It's gonna be good though. I love cleaning my room. I'm gonna open my windows, air my room out and get some light in and just clean my whole room. And then we'll get started with everything else. <laughs> All right, so I left the house to get some dinner. I'm gonna be getting a pizza from Sam and Greg's Pizza. I've been here before. I might have been here in one of my videos before, but I really like this spot. They have good pizza. It is absolutely freezing. I'm downtown right now. Okay, so we're getting quick pizza. I'm dining in instead of the food in, but I actually like this. It's a pretty cool chill spot. I've been here before. It is time to try these knots. I love marinara dogs. So let's give this a try. Bro, this place is about to close. of chicken all on it. That was cheesy, my boy. Were you trying to get one I already stuck in a hole? <laughs> you guys so that is all for today's video but just a little update before i sign off completely i did finish cleaning my room oh. i also got this clock which i think is really cool i thought i'd show you guys but anyways you guys that is all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much to thutter for sponsoring today's video don't forget if you guys want 30 percent off your first order and free shipping click the link in the description box below and use the code lexi l-e-x-i i love you guys and i will see you in the next video